Okay, so in this video, we're initially going to go through the course of the radial nerve. In the last video, we ended at the brachial plexus. Now, the posterior cord of the brachial plexus gives off the radial nerve. We're going to show how it courses through the arm and ends up in the hand. So if you'd just like to follow me through through our volunteer. So after the brachial plexus comes off into the cervical auxiliary canal, it gives the posterior cord of the brachial plexus. The posterior cord gives off the radial nerve, and the radial nerve, if you'd just like to turn around for us, goes behind into the humerus. And it goes around the spiral groove of the humerus. If you can show that to us over here. So it goes around the spiral groove of the humerus and goes laterally onto the arm. When it reaches the lateral position, the radial nerve then comes anteriorly, right there. So after it comes off the spiral groove, it pierces the intramuscular septum and ends up laterally. Now once the radial nerve comes laterally, it then gives off branches to supply uh, the triceps and of course the mobile wad of muscles. The mobile wad of muscles, which is these muscles right here, is the brachioradialis, the extensor carpi radialis longus and brevis. After it gives branches to the triceps and the mobile wad, the radial nerve then divides into two branches. The first of these branches is a purely sensory branch, and that is the superficial radial nerve. The superficial radial nerve goes in the anterior forearm, just medial to the border of the brachioradialis tendon, and it does so accompanied with the radial artery, and goes all the way down and ends up on the radial aspect of the wrist. Over here, it courses around in the snuff box and supplies sensory supply to the first dorsal web space. So if we could just show that over there. So the sensation in this area is from the superficial radial nerve. So that's the first of the radial nerve branches. The second of the radial nerve branches is the posterior interosseous nerve. So at the elbow, once the superficial radial nerve has come off, the rest of the radial nerve becomes the posterior interosseous nerve and wraps around the radial head and goes posteriorly to supply this compartment. And this is the extensor compartment of the forearm. So the posterior interosseous nerve supplies all these muscles over here. And the posterior interosseous nerve leads to these movements. It leads to wrist extension and thumb extension as well. And thumb extension can be shown if you ask the patient to put their hand on the table and lift the thumb up. And over here, you can see, if you lift your thumb up, you can see the extensor pollicis longus contracting. And that muscle is supplied by the posterior interosseous nerve. So that's the course of the radial nerve. Thank you very much for listening. In the next video, I'm going to tell you how to examine further radial nerve. Thank you.